let me ask a ridiculous question. When you zoom out, when uh, human civilization has destroyed itself and alien uh, graduate students are studying it uh, like three, four, five centuries from now, what do you think we'll remember about this period, period in history? The 20th century, the 21st century, this, this time we had a couple of wars, we had a charismatic black president in the United States. We had um, a couple of pandemics. What do you think will actually stand the, the stand out in history? No doubt, the uh, rapid technological innovation of the last twenty to thirty years. Uh, how we created a whole virtual universe mm. we didn't have before. And of course, that's gonna go in directions you and I can't imagine 50 years from now. But this will be seen as that origin moment that when we went from playing below the rim to playing above the rim, right? To being all in person, to having a whole virtual world. And in a strange way, the pandemic was a, a provocation to move even further in that direction. And we're never going back, right? We're, we're, we're gonna restore some of the things we were doing before the pandemic, but we're never gonna go back to that world we were in before where every meeting you had to fly to that place to be in the room with the people. Um, so this whole virtual world and the virtual personas and the avatars and all of that, um, I think that's that's going to be a big part of how people remember our time. Also, the sort of biotechnology element of it, which, which the vaccines are part of. Um, it's amazing how quickly, this is the great triumph, how quickly we've produced and distributed these vaccines. And of course there are problems with who's taking them, but, but the reality is, I mean, th this is light speed compared to what it would have been like, not just in 1918, in 1980. Yeah, one of the, and, and sorry if I'm interrupting, no. but one of the disappointing things about this particular time is because vaccines, like a lot of things got uh, politicized, used as little pawns in the game of politics, that we don't get the chance to step back fully at least uh, and celebrate the the brilliance of the human species. That's right. That they, right. this is yes, there are scientists who use their authority improperly, that have an ego, that um, when they're within institutions are dishonest with the public because they don't trust the intelligence of the public. They are not authentic and transparent. All, all the same things you could say about humans in any positions of yes. power anywhere. Okay. That doesn't mean science isn't incredible, and um, the vaccines. I mean, I don't. I don't often talk about it because it's so political, and it, it, it it's heartbreaking to. It, it's heartbreaking how all the good stuff is getting politicized. Yeah, that's right, and it shouldn't be, and it, it'll seem less political. Um, Eating the long arc of history. It, it, yep, yeah. it'll see. It'll, it'll it'll be seen as an outstanding accomplishment. And as a you know a step toward whatever maybe they're doing vaccines or something that replaces the vaccine in ten seconds you know at that point right yeah. it'll be seen as a step to those will be the, some of the positives I think one of the negatives they will point to will be um, our inability at least at this moment to manage our environment better how we're destroying our living space and not doing enough even though we have the capabilities to do more to preserve or at least allow a sustainable living space I'm confident because I'm an optimist that we will get through this and we will be better at sustaining our environment in future decades. And so in terms of environmental policy, they'll see this moment as a dark age or the beginnings of a better age, maybe as a renaissance. Mm -hmm. Or maybe uh, as, a, as the last time most people lived on earth when a couple of centuries afterwards, we were all dissipated throughout the, the, the solar system and the galaxy. Very possible. If, if uh, the local resident Hometown resident, Mr. Elon Musk has anything uh, to do with it. <laughs> I, I do t I do tend to think you're absolutely right. With all this political bickering, we shouldn't forget that what this age will be remembered by is the, uh, is the incredible levels of innovation. Yes. I, do th I do think the biotech stuff worries me more than anything because it feels like there's a lot of weapons that could be yet to be developed in that space. But uh, I tend to believe that I'm excited by, by two avenues. One is artificial intelligence, the kind of um, 
the kind of systems we'll create in this digital space that you mentioned we're moving to. And then the other, of course, this could be the product of the Cold War, but I'm super excited by space exploration. Sure. There's the magic to our, to humans being and, space. And we're getting back to it. I mean, we, we were enthralled with it in the 50s and 60s when it was a Cold War competition. And then after the 70s, we sort of gave up on it. And thanks to Elon Musk and others, we're, we're coming back to this issue. And, and I think there's so much to be gained from the power of exploration.